Okay, can we have a launch, please? <laughs> Kite flying is quite a popular sport now, it's much bigger than it was, um, it's a lot of fun, anybody can do it, um, can be expensive but if you, if you want to get into it at the start it's really cheap. In the, most of the stalls over there they sell a kite called a Quicksilver Dragon and that's about £5 and that will fly in almost any wind. Why kite flying? Well we look at kite flying as being something that doesn't exclude anybody. It's perfect. It's one of those sports where anybody literally can come along and join in. This is a jester and the good thing about it is you can land it really easily. And to start off with, I'm going to do a tip stand. Right, that's the tip stand. And now I'm going to be doing a, a power dive with a loop landing. We, at the end of the day, have to go around and pick it all up, which is like a bit of a drag when you've been working all day. So, uh, we just remind people of what's busy as well. Like, how many people can get? So, and that goes through the sweet drop here. Don't throw your sweet taste away. It just comes to you after a while, you know. If you practice a long time, you don't even have to think about it. Uh, what's going on at present? Fighting kites are single line manoeuvrable kites. Um, you put, basically what you do, you pull in the line and it will fly in one direction. You let it out, it will spin, yeah? And you can either cut or tip or drag your opponent down. And last one remaining in the air wins, that's it. <laughs> We're just going to launch and we're just going to hang around in the sky until we get the shout for fight. And then we'll pick somebody and have a go at them. Basically the idea is to uh, entangle your line with your opponents and soar away like mad. And you're, the friction of your line against theirs will melt their line and cut them out of the sky. Sorry. <laughs> Most people start with stunt kites. If you take it from there, from flying a, from being a solo flyer, you can fly in pairs and fours, fives and sixes even, in ballet competitions where you're flying set routines, like in ice skating, you've got set figures and you go on to do um, the freestyle thing to music. The kite is made in New Zealand by Peter Lynn and it's specifically made for traction. This guy basically designs kites to pull buggies, uh, boats and anything along. Bearing in mind we can reach speeds of 60 mile an hour or more.
this year this sport's going to take off. <laughs> flies are show-offs um, you know so it's all exhibitionism and stuff like that so you know, it's that. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun um, as long as there's wind you can do you can just do it um, if you've got an open field just go um, you don't have, you don't have to worry about boys or girls this is for everybody and lots of books available. Get yourself a book, sewing machine, and away you go. I mean, you can start just so simply and go right the way through. The sky's the limit, basically. Mm -hmm.